This is example number five. We have a formula, V equals L multiplied by the bracket squared. The subject of the formula is V. We want to change the subject of the formula to D. The first thing that we do is move this L onto the left hand side. L is currently multiplying the bracket on the right, so when we move it to the left hand side it changes from multiply to divide. So we have V divided by L on the left and we have our bracket on the right. D minus 4 over 4 all squared. We want D as the subject of our formula, so what we can do is just flip the sides round. That means we will have D on the side we want it to be on. So if V over L equals D minus 4 over 4 all squared, then D minus 4 over 4 all squared is equal to V over L. This side is squared. In order to help us along, what we want to do now is unsquare that, or in other words, take the square root. So the square root of d minus 4 over 4 all squared is just d minus 4 over 4. We've taken the square root on the left-hand side, which means we must take the square root on the right-hand side. That gives us the square root of V over L. What we want is D as the subject of the formula. So the next best thing is to remove the bracket on this side. Sorry, not the bracket, the fraction. We have 4 on the bottom, which means 4 is dividing. If we move 4 onto the right hand side, it means it will multiply. So that leaves us with d minus 4 on the left, and the 4 which was dividing on the left hand side will move across and multiply on the right. So d minus 4 equals 4 times v over l, the square root of v over l, sorry. Okay, so what we want is D to be the subject of the formula. So our next thing to move is our minus 4. Minus 4, when we change its side, will become plus 4. So that leaves us with D on the left. We already had 4 root V over L on the right-hand side, and the minus 4 change side, change sign becomes plus 4. So now we have D as the subject of our formula. D equals 4 root V over L plus 4. And that's our final answer. This is example number 6, the last example. Our formula is A equals 2 pi R brackets R plus H. The subject of the formula is A. We want to change the subject of the formula to H. So again, the best thing to do at the start is to flip the sides so that we have H on the correct side. So if A equals 2 pi R, brackets R plus H, then 2 pi R, brackets R plus H, is equal to A. What we want to do now is to take our 2 pi r, which is multiplying the bracket, and move it onto the right hand side. So 2 pi r is multiplying the bracket on the left. When it moves onto the right, it divides. That leaves us with r plus h on the left and a divided by 2 pi r on the right. What we want is h to be the subject of our formula, which means this r has to move. 
R means plus R, so when we change its side, it changes to minus R. So we have H equals A over 2 pi R, and our plus R changes to minus R. We now have H as the subject of our formula. So H equals A over 2 pi R minus R, and that's our final answer.